guys welcome to my channel today so today I'm coming on to do a flip through of the Christmas journal it's finally finished so I'll have a little look through it with you I've started off I've put this made some spine jewelry it's just really of different ribbons and then I've got some oh down a bit some beads just a bead dangle and it clips on with a little bulldog clip so it can come on and off the side of the journal so I'm just going to take that off while I show you the journal right so it is a hardback journal for the closure what I've done is I've just put an eyelet in the back of the journal and then I've just got this long silk ribbon and I've just wrapped it round to, for the closure so the journal is a hard cover it's a fabric cover um, and I did a Midori style binding with my elastics now after much deliberation I've decided that I'm going to leave the spine exposed like that so you can see the elastics I'm just thinking whoever gets the journal might want to swap uh, you know add more to it or I just thought the options there if I leave the binding showing then the option to change it is there you know if you want to so I've got fabric as a base and then I've just got a piece of gold uh, card and then this topper that I found uh, I printed off got some little sparkly poinsettias and then I've got this little Christmas word and then these little tiny uh, gems I've put in the flowers and I've stitched all around the outside with a zigzag stitch so the journal measures I can't remember off the top of my head what it measures it measures just under six inches by eight and a quarter and there is two signatures to this journal I haven't counted the pages I forgot to do that but yeah let's have a little look inside then okay so the first page we've got this little uh, flip that I've made and in this pocket I've just put a little bit of um, decoration on the pocket there and a little word saying it's the most wonderful time of the year all these pockets and that have all been stitched round and then I've got some little pieces of ephemera I've got this glittery postcard that I've put gold all over I've got that little mason jar and then I've stamped and heat embossed in like a sparkly red embossing powder this journal belongs to so those three just sit in that little pocket there at the front and then it flips out and we've got a side pocket here that I've put a journaling card in stitched all around it with a little tab and then this pocket here I've put in three uh, three journaling cards I've put a little tab on and they're all stitched around and they can all be journaled on and then there's that little one at the bottom and then I've just put it's the spirit of Christmas and then that just flips back over okay so the first page is just one of the kit pages I've just left that because I just thought it was beautiful paper and it didn't need anything else on next page I've got just this little uh, pocket that we made on camera and I've just put two small pieces of ephemera just big enough to fit in there I've left quite a bit of journaling space in here because I thought um, it could be used as a December daily if you want to take all the ephemera out or move it around um, and it's great because I've got the Midori style binding I'm just going to show you the middle there there's the middle you can take the papers in and out quite easily if you want to so I've got a little coffee dyed doily there just with a little topper on the top there and then at the back we've got treasure the moments that capture your heart this Christmas time then we've got this little pocket that we made on camera I've just done a little bit of collage on the front and we've got this lovely sparkly journaling card in there that just sits there I've put lace on a few pages not every page just a few just to finish it off and then this page is just coffee dyed manuscript paper I've just done a little bit of sort of really um, what's the word I'm looking for subtle stenciling on there then we've got another kit page and then over here we've got one of the big tags that I made on camera that can be journaled on and I've clipped most of my ephemera in so you can take it out and move it around this is one of my Christmas books that I had and we put this in at the beginning uh, it's just a little bit about the Christmas tree then we've got one of the big pockets that we made at the top I've got this journaling card season's greetings and then we've got a mason jar oops and we've got those other two little pieces of ephemera and they can all be journaled on so they just sit in there 
again I've left this page with just a little bit of stenciling that's the Tim Holtz flourish stencil that I've used on there and you can still journal over here and then we've got the piece of vellum and then we've got the flip out envelope and I've just popped in oh that way around no that way around two little journaling cards just to and that's a nice place if you want to keep receipts or you know memorabilia for over Christmas if you want to so that just flips over there I've left the back just as it is I've just put that Merry Christmas then I've just made a little tuck here I've done a little bit of stenciling on it we've got a little postcard and then this little booklet that can be journaled in they just sit in there um, I've left these two pages for journaling just with a little bit of stenciling and then I've put one of my little uh, snippets on I, I made those off I have got a video making those but I made this lot off camera because you'd already seen me do it didn't think you'd want to see me do it again and then over the page we've got a bit more stenciling and then we've got a lovely journaling card that's just clipped in there more kit paper and then another one of my little clusters I've done a little bit of stencil in there then we've got an Edith Holden book page uh, we've got a bit about December there and then we've got one of these pockets This is uh, these are in a die that I've got I must stick something on the front of there because I've got Christmas wishes I'll have to stick a little flower or something on there and then I've got another piece of my snippet we've got this lovely big journal card which sits in there and then we've got two other bits of ephemera that just fit in this I love this die it's one of my favorite dies I use it all the time yeah I mind you you can't really see the front of there when the but I will put something on there and then over the page <coughs> excuse me over the page we've got one of the Tim Holtz slot pockets I've done a little bit of gold stenciling on this page and then we've got Christmas thoughts Christmas wishes sending you some Christmas kisses and then we've just got these little bits of ephemera just in the slots that's that one this is another one of my dies and I've cut this out of I don't know whether you can see it it's beautiful it's like a gold ombre glitter card and it's just like a little lacy pocket and I've just put a journaling card in there because I didn't want to overload it because it's quite flimsy and then we've got journaling space there journaling space on the back I've just left that plain I was going to do a bit of stenciling and I thought no I'll just leave it like it is we've got this card that I've just put a little flower upon set of flower there and then I've got a little tuck on this side with just another little piece of ephemera just tucks up there I've put some of this um, trim that I've got I don't know what it's called it's like a ruffle but it's on a, on a roll it's very nice actually so I'll put some of that down there a little bit more stenciling on that page and then we've got this big side pocket and we've got this nice big journaling card I've used a little bit of the fabric that I use for the cover and I've stitched it on there and this is quite a big pocket so you can fit quite a bit in there we've got some more stenciling just some more journaling space and then one of the kit pages with just a bit of lace down and we're at the middle of the first signature there again I've just left some journaling space this is a different stencil I can't remember whose stencil this is but I've just done a little bit of stenciling on that page so it can be journaled on and then we've got these two big pockets that we made and I've just put some little bits of ephemera in each of the pockets there's quite a lot of room to put more stuff in there and that's them too and I've just put a little topper on the front of there I've got another little piece of my snippet roll and then quite a bit of stenciling on this page but nice big journaling space there and that's the back of the card that's the back of the note paper with some lace down and then this page is just a little um, journaling card I've just stuck at the top there I've got a tuck pocket here this is just out of a big journaling card and then I've got this big one and then I've got this lovely I don't know whether it's a stamp area this one I've put the gold all over it and you've got some nice journaling space on the back of it and then I've put a little bit of stencil in there then we've got this fabric flip that just flips up and I've got some of this black writing paper a little topper there um, and you'd need like a gold gel pen or silver pen to write on there so that is that that's stitched on at the top and then on the back um, I've just put another little piece of the snippet roll on there 
Then we've got one of the pockets that we made on camera and I've just got this little tags in these pockets. I can't see how many, oh there's two. So I've just stuffed those in there and little tags. And then we've got another kit page, then we've got another bit of stenciling and journaling space, then we've got another envelope, I've put some uh, trim along there, just a little topper with some red sparkly gems on, and then again more journaling space, I have stitched around these envelopes, and I've just put two little pieces of ephemera, and there's plenty of room to put more bits and pieces in there if you want to. I've left these two pages for journaling just because I thought they were lined and yeah I was going to put something over here but then I thought no because you can journal on here as well if you want to and then we've got another kit page and we've got um, the other side of the vellum we've got another one of the big tags that we made on camera and then just a bit of stenciling on that coffee dyed page Got the other side of the book page, just a little bit more about the tree and the holly. And then we've got that Christmas tree image on the back there. Another kit page, I've just done a little bit of stenciling on there. And then we've got a little top down here with just a little... Oh, that's not coming out. I must have put it in when the glue was wet. There we go. Just a little postcard in there. Then we've got another pocket I've made just out of a little journal card on some of this coffee dyed manuscript paper I had a piece of cotton down there and I've got a couple of tags and then this little booklet they just sit in there I enjoyed doing it really did I've loved loved working on my Christmas projects I really have that page I've just done a bit more stenciling um, I, I went to red ink on there just just for something a bit different we've got the other side of the doily and I've just put a little postage stamp on there and then I've put Believe in the Magic of Christmas on that page. And then that's the last page in the first signature. Okay, so moving on to the second signature, we've got another lovely kit page. I loved this kit. I loved the colours. I loved the papers working with it. Yeah, I really did. Um, got some journaling space there. We've got another little pocket with just a couple of bits of ephemera to journal on. Another nice journal card at the top there. And then on the other side I've just clipped on another tag, more journaling space and I've just like I said put it on with a paper clip. This page is just um, a piece of, oh it's a Christmas card actually, I've just put a little Merry Christmas on there and then I've just stuck in one of these little pockets that we made and a couple of bits of ephemera, they just fit in there nicely. I've got another pocket here, well I've got my, the big side pocket with another journaling card. Again, I've used the fabric from the cover to for that journal card. A nice Merry Christmas. So that sits in the pocket there and it's quite a really big pocket. And then I've put another little pocket on top of that and I've just put another one of these uh, journaling cards in there. Another little piece of snippet roll and just some journaling space a little side tuck I've made out of a postcard and another one of these pieces of ephemera journal cards can you see the glitter sparkling the gold on there and these are lovely because they've got lines on the back to journal on can't remember where I got those from but I'd like more of them bit of stenciling and journaling space journaling space there and then we've got a little journaling card here all ready to be journaled on a kit page, oops we're stuck together there, a kit page with another big pocket at the bottom and then another one of the big tags that we made, there's only room for one in there, another piece of note paper to journal on with a little bit of lace down, a little bit of stenciling on these two pages and another little piece of the snippet roll, just a little topper there, I just thought we'd leave that for journaling space and then this Christmas card has got some nice journaling space and then another journal card there, I love this one, I love that holly I bought it off eBay and it's, spark it's all glittered, it's really nice so I've sort of left one, two, three big journaling areas there you know if you want to write, write in it uh, another little pocket with just one little piece of ephemera in there and then we've got one of the, I think this is a colouring book, a page from a colouring book 
and then the other side we've just got some little bunnies with some holly you can colour in there I've left that page just for journaling because I thought it was nice with the lines and the same with the back then I've made this little trifold insert it's just tied together with some what's this called eyelash trim and it just unravels I've got a little eyelet there and it opens out we've got three little pockets so we've got a piece a little piece of ephemera in each pocket you can swap that about you can write in put your notes in there and then it just fastens up with the eyelash trim just like that and I've just clipped that on there because these two can be used for journaling so like I said there is quite a lot of journaling space in here even though there's a lot of ephemera as well more journaling space and then another one of the little pockets that we made on camera all of my papers in here have been coffee dyed apart from the Christmas cards um, yeah that I've not that I've not coffee dyed and then we've got this nice big piece of ephemera which is like a Christmas receipt what's it for Yes, I can't understand what it's for anyway we've got that big journal card and then we've got this one which is really nice and they just sit in there more journaling space with a bit of stenciling another kit page with I just put that little bit of snippet on there I just thought to brighten that page up a little bit and then we've got another little uh, tuck pocket there may Christmas bring peace and joy from our house to yours a little journal card and then I've used my punch and just cut a hole in there and then on the next page I've just stuck that little deck the holes more journaling space on those two pages and then a little bit of lace down that page there I'm just going to cut I can see a little piece of cotton oh it's not it's off it's gone so yeah so that just opens over there and you've got that little top of it more journaling space, I love this paper, I really want some more of this paper um, I just think it looks lovely and then we've got May Love and Joy shine upon you this festive season I just thought that was nice journaling space we've got another tuck pocket there, I've just left empty um, because as you can see it's quite full now so I didn't want to just keep stuffing stuff in it I've just left it for whoever buys it to put the bits in then we've got a big journaling card here just clipped onto that page and underneath I've got a little bit of stenciling and then on the next page I've clipped them both with the one paper clip is the big uh, tag sorry not journaling cards so them two are just clipped on with one paper clip I mean it's entirely up to whoever gets it they can stick it all down if they want to I just thought it was removable this way and then we've got the other side of the Christmas card this was a big piece of ephemera from one of the kits I've just made it into a little tuck pocket and I've just put piece on earth and a little journaling card they just fit nicely in there more journaling space with a bit of stenciling a little bit of lace down there more journaling space I thought this was nice for the lead up to Christmas from the 22nd right through the, to the 28th and then we've got another little pocket on here we made these on camera I've left it open at the top and I've put two tags in the top and then I've just put one of the journal cards that we made in that little pocket we're nearly there now guys another kit page well two more kit pages I've just left that and a little piece of my snippet roll on there more journaling space with just a little pocket down here I've just put a little stamp and another little piece of ephemera in there left that one with a bit of stenciling I've put a little side tuck in there with just another little journal card and here's a Merry Christmas for you then this is another that die cut that I've got on the other page I've just cut it in some red card and I've just put two little tags in there and I've left under here for journaling that was just a die cut that I cut and I just thought it looked nice on that page that bit of green um, more journaling space with just another piece of the ruffly ribbon down there and then we're at the back that's a kit page at the back and then on the back I've put this big pocket that's been stitched around we've got that big journal card at the top we've got that one and we've got two other little pieces of ephemera there and I've just put a little bit of collage on the bottom of the envelope just a little Christmas sentiment and a flower 
so that is it guys that is my second Christmas journal and thank you so much to everybody that has uh, watched the process and left all your lovely comments I hope you've enjoyed watching it like I've enjoyed doing it there's the little spine jewellery there I like that tassel there so that can come off and on so yeah guys thank you so much for um, taking the time to stop by and spend some time with me today to watch the flip through um, I'll leave links to my Etsy shop if you're interested in the journal you can always give me send me an email my email address is always in the description box so as always guys thanks again and take care and I'll see you all again soon bye